of the game and behind my left shoulder you can see everybody enjoying themselves having their last drinks sharing many many fond memories telling tall tales some may be true some may not be true of what has happened down here over this place for 50 60 years so it's a great day for everybody to fondly remember and a new era starting for the Mentone Cricket Club and some Beads Mentone Tigers Football Club. And now we're with Owen Lawler, down here a legend of both clubs, um, Team of the Century member of Mentone Footy Club, uh, Cricket Club, sorry, and uh, ex-coach of some Beads Mentone Tigers Football Club. Welcome, yeah. Owen. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Thanks for having us. Um, really, really good, good day down here at uh, Brindisi. A uh, lot, of, lot of old faces that bring back great memories of this place, both cricket and footy memories. Um, so yeah, really enjoyable. You would have um, some great memories, both cricket and football, of those roots in there. Yeah, look, uh, my, my junior started here when I was, uh, I think I was nine years old and um, I got invited to play in the under 12 for Mintone Cricket Club by a very famous guy here named Rex Blackmore. And he was the, the guy that was uh, that got my myself and my brothers down to this club and that was the Mintone football, uh, Cricket Club days. And then obviously going to St Bede's College, the, the football sort of then uh, became very important to us too and we became members of the St Bede's Mintone fraternity in the senior levels. But in the junior days of football I played for Mintone Football Club before they merge. But yeah, I've, I've, mate, I've spent 30 to 35 years here football and cricket, so it's, a, it's a definitely been a big part of my life, a very, very important part of my life. Um, yeah, so a lot of amazing memories. And you are now a legendary teacher at St Bede's uh, Old Collegians, taking the boys to the ACC Premiership last year. Oh, well, 2019 was our, our best year ever in the, in the school's history of footy. We're very, very lucky. Um, we won the ACC Premiership and then you get uh, to go into the Herald uh, Finals and we won the semi-final and then we won our first ever uh, Herald Shield final against St Pat's Ballarat. So we're really, really lucky to coach that group. Um, two boys got drafted out of that group. So we got one drafted to St Kilda, Ryan Burns, and we got one drafted to Port Adelaide in Miles Birdman. And, um, exceptional players, uh, had a lot of boys playing with the Sandringham Dragons who were very lucky, a very, very powerful group and talented and exciting and it's just a really good memory, uh, for the, especially for the school, you know, after all the years of uh, being strong at sport, to finally win a Herald Shield, yeah, it was very enjoyable. And currently, current coach of Parkdale Vultures yes. in B grade. Yes, um, the enemy. <laughs> yeah, the enemy. You'll be back here round one for, yeah, the, that's right. for the that's opening right. of the new yeah. facility. Um, yes. How are the Vultures going to go this year? Uh, well, we've had a, I would sum up our pre-season is very slow. Uh, 12 months ago, a lot more numbers on the track. Um, we've had quite a few guys retire. Four or five of the older state stalwarts have retired. Yeah. Got Redman, a couple, Redman, yeah, Redmond, Platt, Mickey Grahams. We've got a couple of boys overseas for the year or two. Charlie yeah. Dillon. Yeah, one of them you're going yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been a slower, so we're going to be extremely young. Yeah. It's, we've all got our heads around that. We're going to be a very, very young B-grade side, so uh, which can be a good thing. And um, and if those boys want to do the hard work and commit, we'll see some improvement, hopefully, in all of them. So so we're, we've got, we're, we're under no illusions, we're a very young B-grade team. And, well, uh, and, in, and hopefully in, can cause some surprises. In yeah. all reality, and you've probably heard the stories, we are going to be the same. Yeah, yeah, we're, definitely. We're going through yeah. a rebuild phase, yeah. so, so yeah. it'll be yeah. very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Round one to see whose young boys <laughs> perform, young boys perform better on the day. Yeah, definitely. I and mean, so much respect for all the clubs in this local area. All the boys know each other. So many yeah, get to school do. with yeah. each other, yeah. playing rep footy with, you know, with each other, and junior footy against each other. So there's really, really good mateships around this area. So it makes it more exciting. You love those sort of local derby games. Or yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. always? Um, Dread coming back here playing against your old club. No, well, I've only done it. I've done it a couple. Well, I did it with Hampton Rovers and then with Parkdale last year. But it's not dread. It's actually you look forward to it because uh, I love these young guys. Even this, this young guy going out to bat now, Jack Hellier. You know, he was a ripper in, in the day. And so many, so many good people here. Great families uh, involved in both clubs. Uh, and so many of these young players I taught when they were. 15 to 18 yeah. year old, yeah. I taught them at St Bird's yeah. and now seeing how they've developed. Simon Richards is over there holding his little bubba, it's just beautiful. I had him in my year 11 and year 12 classes in, at St Bird's and now I look at him as a family man and Chrissy Richards got married over New Year's. So there's, be there's beautiful things like that, that's, that's probably more important than 
actually anything I reckon is the connections and relationships we've built over the years and now what you want is round one we want a really cracking game of footy yeah and whichever way it goes it goes but after the game that room will be full we'll be having a beer together and yeah it's just a, it's, it's part of the I suppose the excitement of pre-season is looking forward to that round, round one game one. we're yeah. talking about it some bees are talking, talking about, about it, it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah I saw a few of um Parky Vultures stole watch yesterday down at the Kingston Hawks. <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah. They were yeah. all talking about the big lunch and how they yeah. were coming and yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. whatever. So yeah, obviously yeah. it's going to be a great day and something to look forward to. Yeah, definitely. And um, and we were lucky to get the points that last year, that look game here at Brindisi by a point, that last nearly last kick of the day. Right. Yeah. Um, so you and, hope it, and, you'd love it to be exciting like that. That would be really, really Not cool. that close. It's not, nah, nah. not good for an old bloke. Oh, sorry, it's, not good for, it's not good for coaches, mate. It's not good yeah. for anyone. But, but it is the crowd love that sort of stuff when you look back on those sort of games and we, we were lucky yeah. to get the points that day but well if we're that close the crowd up there on that new balcony will be buzzing <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah and doesn't it the, that balcony is uh that is going to be so good for this place over the, not just the short term the long term to watch footy up there <laughs> yeah. so i hope in 10 years time i'm watching a game up there after being sitting at a luncheon yeah, uh, that is. Well, you're sitting right on top right. of this ground. You don't yeah. have to move, and nah, the atmosphere. Yeah, well, we yeah. don't know yet because we haven't played, but yeah. the atmosphere, I think, will be something fantastic. Yeah, it'll be huge. It'll be huge. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that day. Um, right, mate, we'll let you go back and have a, <laughs> have a drink with all your mates. Thanks, no, no, thank thanks you. for talking to us, and I look yeah. forward to seeing you around one. Yeah, definitely, Tommy. Thank you very much for having us. Thanks, mate. Now we're talking to David Kinsella, who is today playing for the cricket club against the football club. It was already been dismissed, I believe. Dave. Yeah, yeah. Rook got one past me early uh, for a duck, unfortunately. <laughs> The eyes aren't what they used to be. Yeah. Uh, couldn't see them at all, and yeah, Refle yeah. reflex is gone as well. Yeah, correct. That seems a bit heavy too. He's seems stronger and bigger. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, all good. So this in itself is a great day for the two clubs, saying farewell to um, many happy memories, obviously. Yeah. In there for all of us, especially you, being a Premiership player. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's nice and going back in the day, the cricket club and the footy club didn't always see eye to eye. Tommy, you know. Yeah. So it's nice that we're actually uh, agreeing on a lot of things now and getting things going. So it's uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a good day so far, and it'll be a good day uh, for the rest of the day, obviously. Um, memories for you. Yeah, this place. Yeah, so great memories. It's all about sports. All about the relationships you, you form. You know, it's um, and every one of these places, or most of them, the young ones I don't know so well now, but you, you have some sort of fond memory of, of either making runs with them or, or winning a premiership or winning a game with them. So it's yeah, it's great, it's great, awesome. And at five out currently for about 120 odd. Um, what sort of target do you reckon you set the footballers <laughs> oh, that they could possibly chase down? <laughs> well, Jimmy Tiger gets going. He can hit the ball. You just got to—he doesn't like sledging. Now you give it to him, and he actually bats better. So you got to keep quiet when Jimmy's out there. He—he uh, he knuckles down. So keep it nice and quiet when he's out there. But a few of them can play. Rook goes all right, and um, yeah. So I reckon anywhere over 150 will be good. And um, you reckon that umpire out there, Neil Harris, is likely to? Um, have some sort of influence and <laughs> conjure up a close result. <laughs> well, hopefully when they're on bowling, can give me a couple of LBWs, that would be nice. Especially with someone like Dean Porter, it would be nice to get in nice and early. And um, this year you've um, been on the coaching panel down here at St Beads and uh, I've appointed, from what I've seen so far, appointed as a good coach. Yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah, so no, yeah, really happy with the, the process and um, it's good to keep that group together, only doing one year. They seem to have a really good rapport with the players um, and, and, and other people around the club, which is, is a positive thing, obviously. Um, I think you'll be really strong and, and, and the development of, of the younger group will, will benefit from having you. It's really, yeah, really good. It's a little bit like um, going back to 26, 27, 28 with Bevo and the young kids. It's, it's a little bit like yeah. a rebuild with yeah. a couple of the older blokes moving on for varying reasons yeah and look it's and it's great to have younger kids because there's no ceiling you, you never know what they can do uh, one week they can be pretty woeful but the next week they can shoot the lights out and beat the best team so you just put no ceiling on them and, and let them go and, and you'll see the improvement and that yeah, come from just natural progression and personally you um coaching at Baffa level again yeah this year. so I'll do the under 19s and I'm still with Melbourne so um, that's going really well and looking forward to the 19 group again we've uh, beaten big country the last two years so it's been really positive and so no pressure on your mate to no no yet. no yeah well a little bit of pressure always they, they like to win at Baffa they uh, they do put a bit of pressure on you but um, I've got two in the bag at it too so uh, if I do drop one it's not too bad not too bad thanks Dave thanks for talking no worries thanks Tom. good luck for the rest of the day thank you very much thank you cheers what?
Mighty boy, how are you going? Enjoying yourself cooking a barbie for everyone today? Having fun with it, Thomas. Many fond memories of this place? Yes, yeah. Over the years? Since 92, when we moved in or joined up, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, it's changed a lot. It's time. It's all the time. Uh, have you been upstairs to have a look at what we're moving into? It's uh, terrific. It will be absolutely game changing, hopefully, for the club and take that next level. So, yeah, terrific. Turn this into offices, which will yeah. still be useful, so we're not losing it all together. Yeah. Good offices for, for you and for me to do our work on a Saturday. Hey, well, well, Thomas, hey, well, well. It's not day there. <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking no. about shifty No, 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 no it's um, it's proper work. It served a really good purpose and it's yep. uh, still going to be good, so it's nice. <laughs> okay. Good day today, good turn out. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> You're cooking them all good sausages, mate? Well, no one's complained yet, no one's died, so you're on board. Well, that only comes 10 hours later. That's true. <laughs> We've got that virus to worry about anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully none of them have been to China. Yeah. 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 All right, mate, thank you for talking and enjoy. And now we're joined by Peter Turley, one of the assistant coaches of Sabrina's Mentone Tigers for season 220. Welcome, Pete. And um, how's pre-season, buddy? Oh, it's been pretty solid so far, I think. All the boys that have turned up have worked hard and uh, beats a good variety on the track, but it's time to get serious now, isn't it, after Christmas? It is. So I was away this week. I was actually down at Storm, so I missed the first week's game and I'm back on deck Wednesday. I think Wednesday, Monday night the weather wasn't that good. It was no. a bit... Um, Lacks on numbers, but Wednesday night back out here there were stacks. Good, no, that's good. And a, and a few of the blokes um, have appeared for the first time since pre season, so, no, so that's good. I have heard a rumour that someone topped the whack and might have broken a rib. I heard that this morning. Do you hear that one, Brownie? No, I haven't heard that yet. Coach. Where did that one come from? The co oh, the coach. <laughs> oh, well, he's in wrong place, wrong time. Oh, that won't hurt him. So he's a big boy. He's, he's a big boy. So someone must have got him pretty good. Yeah. So, expectations for the year, based on the fact that we finished fifth last year, probably should have finished fourth, dropped a few games that we shouldn't have dropped. Um, as a coaching group, what are your expectations for this year? Well, I think certainly to improve on where we were at, and I, mean, I, I really think a big part of the season is going to be that under 19 group coming up. Building on the kids that already played last year with another four or five would be great. And I think they showed when they came up and played that they could they could match it and they could perform. So I think that's a very exciting part of the year. And then the senior boys that played, obviously the the nucleus of those guys is still aged between 20 and 25. So there has to be another 10 or 20 percent improvement with them, I think. And the longer they play together, and the longer these kids play with that group, I'm talking about obviously Kai and. and and Barney and that is still sort of only young, early 20s. So, um, as a coaching group, you surely you want to be able to get another 20, 10, 20 percent out of them. So, if we do that and we keep everyone on the park, I think we can improve for sure. Is it is it a concern? Um, and you've been around, and I've been around. Is it a concern as a coaching group with the young fellows coming up that they could be on one week and then not on the next week? Absolutely, but I, they seem to be a really level-headed bunch of kids and a great bunch of kids. So I think that'll be our job a little bit to perhaps understand that, but in the at the same time, try and develop a little bit of that um, within their game to get some consistency. So hopefully, even if we're a bit shaky early on, we'll improve as the year goes yeah. on. All right, yeah. mate. Well, good luck. Thanks for Thanks, talking Tommy. to us, and you can go and have a quiet one. Looking now. forward to these new rooms too. Oh, it's well, fantastic. Yeah. Have you been up there yet? I oh, had a little bit of sneaky peek. Yeah. 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 yeah, not bad. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Bro. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to 2020 for the St. Beats Mentone Tigers Football Club, and to today's last stand, last drinks. And it's only fitting that I should be interviewing. My our two longest serving sponsors, Ron and Mark Gordon, who have been with us for 45 years. Close to it, 43. 43 years. So, Ronnie, a little bit sad being in here today. Oh, this is, a, this is a fantastic space. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Hearing the people reminisce you know, years ago and all that sort of thing is absolutely fantastic. 
be sad that it'll be being blocked up into, but it'll still be on sacred ground. It will it'll, still be here yeah. in, a, in a different capacity. Yeah. And Margie, many yeah. fond memories for you in here as well? Yeah, yeah. quite a few drugs. Drunk what? Ronnie drunk? Or, no, you. Or, or Ron. <laughs> hey, remember that Sunday afternoon oh. when you have to drive Ron and I home? Oh, yes, when we, really we cleaned the place up? I don't think we were that <laughs> I good don't that think you were that good. No, no, so, no very, very happy memories. Not just me. Especially oh, when we won the grand final three years in a row oh, as we were. Yeah. It they, was wonderful. They were fake nights in New Very years, happy so. memories. So moving forward now, you've both been upstairs and had a look. It's brilliant. What do you think of the new facility? And all we can do is now move on and make that a fantastic. Yeah, and uh, our memories. Memories there. Our memories will. We make new memories, obviously up there, but. Our memories in here will still remain because this stays and it'll become offices for football club, cricket club and, and the future with netball coming in as well. Where's the, I meant to ask, where's the laundry going to go? The laundry has a spot for itself yeah, in the, you would have seen it over the new room. Right, yes. So, down, so the, our cameraman is very happy with the laundry. He's, he's had a look at it and so, yeah, it's good. Well, so, um, all so, I can say is that, you know, let's go on for a few more years yet. Yeah. Thank you guys for all you've done for the club and let's hope you both do continue with us for many more years to come. Absolute pleasure. And let's hope 2020 is as successful upstairs as it will be out in the future. I'm hoping that it will be ready for my 70th birthday. Which is when? Yeah, yep. yeah. <laughs> Close. Because the first game's um, April 4. Yeah. So, yeah. If it's not then, it'll be April 4. Yeah. yeah. They promised for it. it'll be. Well, they're talking in fit at the minute. But, um, I reckon there's work to do, but the cameraman who's a builder says they should be able to get to end of fair easy. So there you go. Good. Very good. Yeah.